So it's been a while since I cover an episode of the show Geek Love. If you guys aren't aware, this is basically a show where a bunch of geeks go to Comic-Con in search of love in a speed dating competition. We've seen people actually find love, we've seen people really hit it off, and then we've seen many others actually fail to find love simply because they were just too much. Someone sent this clip in to me. It looks like it's gonna be some sort of ladies man, okay? Some sort of alpha geek. So we're gonna see what's going on with him. We're gonna see how he's gonna be bagging up all these little gaming honeys. So this is my room, or what I like to refer to as my very geeky man cave. Nice. I'm Joey, I'm 25. This is my fourth time going to Comic-Con, but my first time looking for love there. So I'm guessing that he's like a Spider-Man nerd or something like that. Like that must be his favorite superhero, okay? He's got the uh, Spider-Man Daily Bugle newspaper on the wall. He's got some other spider shit framed over there. At the beginning, they showed Venom, okay? Venom's personally my favorite super villain, superhero, whatever you want to call him, hey. Don't sleep on Venom. Can y'all see that? Hope y'all can see that. Maybe I'm like the anti version of him. I'm like his dark side. The three words that best describe me are probably uh, geeky, ridiculous, and lonely. So this guy definitely keeps it real about who he is. We can definitely say that. He knows he's a geek, he knows he's a nerd, and he really doesn't give a fuck. I love women, everything about women, yeah. Women are great. They're so sensitive and wonderful and they have soft hair and yes, soft skin. Sir. It's great, I love women. Wait till you touch that poonana. I have uh, Thor's hammer. Oh, I never smite on the first date, I'm not that kind of guy. <laughs> uh, I think that my- I like that, this guy has a good sense of humor. My mom wow. is a bit torn about sci-fi speed dating. Would you want me to find like a nice girl to bring home? I, I don't think that's the place to find a nice girl. On Ooh. one hand, what kind of girl are you gonna find at Comic-Con? Yeah, she knows what type of girls go there. You can't tell me that some of those cosplaying chicks aren't absolute freaks. Like, you know how at the Olympics they're very concerned that all the athletes from the different countries are sleeping together, like in their downtime? That's gotta be what's happening at Comic-Con. It's gotta just be a big hookup central. And he's not just a gamer, okay? This guy is a high-level athlete. Look at him getting it in on that uh, little leg bike he has. The kind of girl who- The weird girls go there. On the other hand, my mom likes me where I am right now, living at home with her. Most of the people I've dated have been geeks. I gotta say, that's one weak-ass Wolverine costume, okay? Are you trying to be Fujita? Are you trying to be Wolverine? I'm not buying it. <laughs> you i am the nefarious number 22. wow i really appreciate the fact that he's uh wearing this spider suit underneath his shirt i mean let's be honest guys out of all the superheroes spider-man's got to be getting the most action okay this guy is shooting his web everywhere hanging women upside down from the ceiling i mean spider-man doing some crazy shit no one wants to hook up with the hulk imagine he's all up in there he gets angry what are you gonna do Saying things. That was my sports number. Oh, she wants him. Did you play any sports in No, I was the most unathletic person in the world. Really? Yeah. Uh, I had asthma, or at least my mom believed that I had asthma as a kid. So she basically like was like, "Don't go out. It's wow. scary out there." I can really appreciate the fact that this man is completely honest about who he is. He's obviously very comfortable in his own skin and also confident. This guy actually has a certain level of confidence about him that I feel like would be hard to reach unless you had this specific product. Well, fellas, you're gonna have to use a product called Tej Hanley, and that's why I'm so excited to have them as the sponsor of today's video. They have helped me start and maintain my skincare routine by making the entire process very uncomplicated. Honestly, it's the best skincare system for guys like you and me. I recommend you start with their level 1 system, which comes with all the basics. A daily face wash to get rid of the dirt and grime on your skin, a two times per week exfoliating scrub to get rid of your dead skin cells, an AM moisturizer with SPF 20 because you should always be protecting your skin from the sun, and a PM moisturizer to help your skin stay hydrated throughout the night. My favorite part about Teach Hanley is that every box comes with an instruction card that tells you when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order. They really make the process of achieving and maintaining amazing skin very easy. 
I've been using their products for a little while now and I'm absolutely hooked. It might sound weird, but I actually look forward to my morning and evening routines because I just feel amazing and more confident after using their products. In addition to amazing skin, members of Teach Hanley get a ton of benefits, including 25% off retail price, the ability to customize your box, you can pause or cancel at any time, and you get free US shipping. If you're outside the US, they also offer low cost shipping to most countries. And because Teach Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click the link in the description, and not only will you get Teach Hanley for the best possible price, but they'll also give you a free gift with your first box. So click that link and get started for just $25. Why are you a what? Why? Why wouldn't I be at Comic-Con? I mean, like, what are you here for? Games, comics, movies, everything. Everything. This guy's here to get some ass. It's as simple as that. Maybe buy a couple of comic books along the way. Maybe meet Tom Holland or some shit. Are your ears moving? Um, uh, yeah, maybe. You know, wow. your brainwave ears? I, that's a thing? Oh my god. Jesus. That's gotta be the original microchip, okay? She put that thing in her head, and it tells her ears when to move. I see that you also have ears. Do you like think like certain thoughts and like they just start moving? I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm just really nervous. Oh. <laughs> On the next date, please. So, Doctor Who? Oh my god. Yeah, what's yes. up? Yes, I was so excited to like dress up as a doctor. Everyone's gonna think I'm like the professor or something. I'm not the doctor. I mean, that's true. Like, you just walk down the street and like, oh, there goes that professor with her bow tie. <laughs> Where's she going? It's Saturday. I thought he was adorable. He was sweet. And, um, I was, like, comfortable talking to him. Wow. They all seem, like, flushed after talking to this guy, okay? They're gonna need to go to the bathroom and change their panties after this one. Who let out the flood? I think it's just that his energy is so good that it's just, like, infectious to these women. He's almost just someone they need to be around. You're supposed to be, uh, oh, the burger show. Yes! Yes! You're the first person! Am I really? Yes, wow. Oh, Jesus, thank God someone just, like, decided to just, like, bust that out. This fucking guy knows everything. In some of the past episodes we've watched, the guys have been real, like, snobs about what they like, and they kind of, like, put down the women's interest, and that's definitely not gonna work for them in terms of trying to get a date. He knows how to play the game, okay? Even the things he probably thinks are stupid or is not interested in, he's still, like, showing them love. Are you ever the dungeon master? Actually, no, because oh, yeah. it's too, too hard. <laughs> he's gonna go master her dungeon. Hey, silencio. She Shut likes him pals. too, god damn. Joey nails it. Every girl writes their number on his paper. Let's Became go, baby! Slinging. So Joey got his eye on Doctor Who, and there's a good chance she likes him. The problem is, every girl wants him. Whoever gets to him first wins. This guy's fucking go, the king of this. Ah, oh, hold on, hold on. It's no. <laughs> yeah, I, I run a lot. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, that is not who he wanted. Ain't no one want this gypsy looking ass over the nice looking Doctor Who girl. I will say that I had uh, someone else in mind. We know. The Doctor Who girl, actually. Damn. Uh, but I also like this girl too. The one who got away. Uh, well, I mean, if you're into video games and everything like that, I mean, like, I've got lots of video games back at my place and a comfortable couch. Uh, so uh, how about this weekend? Okay. Let's go. Playing video games. This guy's a fucking king right here, man. Crown his ass, please. Wow. Everyone's gonna be so jealous of us. Nerds be on some other shit. He gives me major Leonard from Big Bang Theory vibes, by the way. Hi. Time to meet the parents. Hi. You too, I'm Emily. Hi. Hi. Uh, yeah, meeting the parents on a first date was a little bit weird, but you know, we'll see. Yeah, that's, so you like to play that's interesting. video games. I am a gamer, yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> I have some food here for you. Just a bottle of water would be nice. Wow. A bottle of water? Okay, here. Thank you. Damn, she made her a whole smorgasbord. And she's like, ah, just a bottle of water. Not a good sign for the mama, okay? Mama don't like that. Where do you go? Uh, I go to Columbia. Oh, great. Hi, Lee. He's like, let's get wow. the fuck up out of here. We're actually just gonna go and play some play? video games. Yeah, okay. let's just go. It's like you're cramping my style, Mom. Oh, you have the most sensual screech of a heartbeat. Wow. You know when you get the long ones, you don't know where to put it, right? I am hoping and I think it's gonna turn into something a little bit more romantic. They look delicious. Are you leaving already? Yeah, I have midterms oh, to study for. Oh. I'm so sorry. 
Yeah, it's great to meet you. Thank you. Same here. Bye-bye. Awkward. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I wasn't really seeing the spark between these two. Just because they weren't fast enough during the perfect match doesn't mean anything. Uh oh So Joey's playing the game here. After the date with the perfect match, Hi, uh... He finds the Doctor Who girl's interested in and sets up another date. Let's go. Me. I picked you. you know. I just, I didn't, like, get over to you fast enough. Yeah. Fast enough. Damn. No, I mean, if you're interested, like, we can... She's happy he came around, okay, and it seems like old Joey's gonna be asking her on a date, too. This man knows how to play the field, okay? He's just keeping his options open. You can drink coffee or do yeah, something. Why not? Definitely, definitely. I'd love it. Okay? Yeah. So I actually wow. have a second date to come out of Comic-Con speed dating. Wow. How many people can say that? My first, like, one of my first dates, I went out with, like, Peter Parker. Right? Oh, how cool damn. Is that? You, uh, didn't, you don't have I told y'all she wants that web going around in the bedroom, guys. Peter Parker, sex symbol, in my opinion, okay? They're staring at his bulge. He's saving the neighborhood. I mean, what more could he have going for him? I have the face, I, mask. I do. Oh. You have to put it on. You can't make me put this on. Please. No. Okay, like, let me get that upside down kiss. You got a great smile. I'm gonna try putting it on. Cause you're kind of cute like that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm excited to get to know him. Uh, he seems really nice and just being super smart. Uh, it kind of helps that he's cute. Wow. I really can't say right now uh, who I would choose between the two girls, but you know, gay love is great. <laughs> it's the best thing to happen to my love life. Players gotta play, all right? Players gotta play. Shooters gotta shoot. I'm glad that we finally found someone on this show that's really completely comfortable in who they are and comfortable in their own skin while also not being an absolute cringe fest or just a straight up douchebag. What speed dating at Comic Con taught me was that, you know, it's very hard to ha bring girls over the house uh, to introduce them to my mom or to hang out here at my house uh, if my mom's going to basically be questioning whether or not they're virgins or what their <laughs> motives are with me or anything like that. And so basically what this entire experience taught me is that it's time to move out. Nice. And so I'm basically in the process of uh, moving out into my own apartment. So Let's that's get exciting. it, Joey. Uh, I really do like a happy ending every once in a while on the Jamari channel, okay? Like I said, if you guys want to be this confident, go check out the sponsor. This guy was an absolute Chad. He was an absolute stud. But let me know what you guys think about this episode of Geek Love and Joey down below. As always, I do want to thank you guys for watching and subscribing today. And as y'all know, it's been your boy, the Tan Superman. And I'm out. Peace!